Senator Ciccone. Thank you, uh, Acting Deputy President. Australia has lost more Defence Force personnel to suicide than we have lost on the front line. The Australian Institute of Health and Welfare has reported that the rate of suicide among male veterans is 21 per cent higher than that of the general male population. For ex-serving women, the rate of suicide is twice as high as the general female population. Over the past two decades, there have been more than 460 suicides, and in 2018 alone, there were 33 deaths by suicide among serving and ex-serving Defence Force personnel. For every veteran who has died, there are families that are left behind who are grieving. It is a national tragedy, and it's a national tragedy that this government is also failing to act upon. For years now, veterans and their advocates have been raising concerns about the level of suicide with the Australian government. They have shared their stories about the sons and daughters that they have lost and that they have been asking for a royal commission. Instead of delivering a royal commission, the coalition government has offered a flawed and an inadequate national commissioner. Without independence, without the appropriate governance arrangements, one that completely fails to include the most recognised and the significant risk factors for death by suicide. The Prime Minister said that the National Commissioner would be bigger and better than a Royal Commission, but it turned out to be nothing more than an empty promise. The government offered less than half the resources that would be allocated to a Royal Commission. Less funding, less staff and less power. And now veterans and their families will be forced to wait even longer for answers as the coalition government has withdrawn its National Commissioner legislation. The Liberal and National government have shown themselves time and time again completely unable to deliver real results, real change and real reform for our nation and its people, and especially those who serve our nation. This is just another example of this government's failure to act. Mr Acting Deputy President, I've had so many people call my office and share their stories of losing loved ones, sadly, to suicide especially those in the veteran community who have served our nation with great distinction. They have come to this place here in Canberra. They have stood on the lawns of Parliament House, directly above this chamber. They have shed tears under this roof of this building. They have asked us, as representatives of our community, to prevent any further loss of life. When I talk to veterans and their families, as I did recently on Australia Day, I hear about their contributions to our community, made by so many, by so many amazing people. So often, these contributions continue well after a veteran's active service ends. A wonderful example of this contribution is Operation Veteran Assist, which I've spoken about previously here in the Australian Senate. Operation Veteran Assist mobilised dozens of veterans and volunteers at very short notice to go out to Gippsland and help with the bushfire recovery efforts from last year. I find it enormously difficult to reconcile the fact that the coalition government are handing out contracts to former government staffers to produce slick PR videos spruiking recovery efforts in Gippsland and the broader region, while there are bushfire victims still waiting for funding, still waiting 
to receive the funding so they can recover and build their livelihoods. They are living in caravans, they are living in sheds, and they've spent less than half of the recovery funding that was promised. And at the very same time, they are denying veterans uh, Senator, a royal.